there how is it going so for today's video I decided to do a makeup look using my blue winged liner do you guys like it <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it I mean it's been a while since I did this kind of look I never filmed it though but like I always wanted to do this type of look for my channel so Today is the day that I decided to do this look for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy it and if you are new to my channel, hello there, my name is Marika. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and then you will get notification if I upload new videos, okay? So anyways, I hope you guys like it and thumbs up if you do and like I said, subscribe if you are new, okay? Anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye! Hi there again. Let's start with a clean slate. Then to prime my eyelids, I am using this primer called Thank Me Later from Elizabeth Moth. For the eyes, I am using this light brown shade from the Morphe 35O palette. And I am just sweeping this color across my crease. For my eyelids, I'm using this shade and using a dark brownish color for my outer lids to make it look like a little to make it look a little smoky. And then to highlight my under under my brow bone, I'm just using one of the white shade in the palette. Now for the star of the show, this is a liquid liner from this brand called Nika K. You guys have probably heard of that brand if you are subscribed to Ipsy. And this is how I got this eyeliner. This is in the shade blue. I know, how original. I was actually scared to use this because I haven't touched this liquid liner in like forever and I forgot that the um, applicator is really stiff like it could seriously poke an eyeball. I did have to layer it twice because it's not as pigmented. Then going to the eyebrows, I am using this very dark brown shade to fill in my brows from this brand called Bodyography. I really love this brow trio because the powder is so pigmented. Not kidding, guys. Then I am setting it with this Chella Eyebrow Definer Gel. Prep. Prepping my eyelashes with these two mascara combinations, which are, which are the um, Lash Blast Volume from Maybelline and Roller Lash from Benefit. I'm not so sure if I like the lo roller lash. It didn't really live up to my expectation as many people hyped about it. Anyone else feel the same? Comment down below. For my beautiful face, I am moisturizing it with this Previse Hydro Milk Moisturizer, then prepping it with this Wet n Wild Face Primer. I am also mixing my two favorite foundations from L'Oreal and they are the True Match and the Infallible Foundations. To conceal my ugly dark circles, I'm using the Fit Me Concealer, which, from, which is from Maybelline, which I am running out of. Oh no, I need to buy some more. To lock everything in place, I'm using this um, loose powder from NYX. To give my face a little color, I am using this sculpting palette from Rimmel London and I'm using the bronzer. I really love this palette because all of the colors are not overpowering, which is what I wanted for this look because I want my eyes to stand out. 
So for the highlight, still using the same palette. By the way guys, I've been into highlighting my face lately. So I am just showering myself with this highlight. And then for the blush, this shade is so pretty. I think this palette is called the Golden Sands. I'm leaving every down, everything down below so you guys can just look on the description box. Okay, so going back with the 35O palette, using that shade underneath my eyes and also putting this naked eyeliner on my waterline. For my lips, I'm using this shade from NARS that I can't even pronounce. We all got this last year for our birthday gift from Sephora. And then topping it with this lip gloss called Always There from this brand Beauty For Real. There you go, we're done! Post, post, post! Anyways, I love you guys and I hope you guys liked it. Bye!